Welcome to In the Money with Mr. Darston. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Mr. Darston's Money Mastery. For today, I want you to do a thought experiment with me and think back. Tell me if you remember this day, the day you interviewed for and found out you got your most recent job. Do you remember that day? How happy were you? You remember feeling ecstatic? You remember being focused, determined to do a great job? Remember how ready you were to walk into that office with that new suit on and embrace the day? Do you also remember what I told you in a previous video to make sure you set up that 401k? I'm sure you did. And you got that 401k in place at that job and everything was hunky-dory. Until what you thought would last forever, forever being your entire working career, didn't quite work out so well. As it turns out, you're not going to be retiring from that job. And you couldn't stand the lack of appreciation or the lack of pay, lack of growth opportunities, or too much work for too little pay. Whatever it was, you said, I quit. It is over. Well, now that you're no longer with the company, what should you do with that old 401k? Hmm. You basically have three options for an old 401k. You can do nothing and leave it in the account at the old employer. You could choose to withdraw the funds from the account, or you can roll the funds to a new investment account with either a new employer or an individual retirement arrangement IRA. There are pros and cons to each. Let's go through each of them. Let's start by talking about leaving the money in your old employer plan. Now doing this requires no action on your part, so it's easy. So I guess that could be considered a pro, not doing nothing. Your money will keep growing in your designated investment. So it's not like your money's gonna stop growing. It's gonna continue to perform based on the underlying investments where you hold your assets. Now, another benefit is that you may be able to keep certain plan benefits specific to employees and participants in your employer sponsored plan, such as loans, uh, any special interest rates and things of that nature. So those are the main benefits you have if you leave your assets in your old employer's plan. Now, some of the cons are your money will be subject to the retirement plan rules set by your former employer. How can this affect you? Well, if you like the investment platform they have, and they decide, you know what, we have some cheaper alternatives with some different providers. They can uh, bring in some different investments and map you over without you having to sign off on that. So they can move your investments if they choose a different investment platform. So your money is not totally under your control as it's subject to some of the rules and plan provisions that the employer will put in place. Some of those rules may also include you having to have a signature of a spouse be notarized if you want to access the money in the future. So it's not always as easy to get to your money when you leave it in the former employer's plan. Now, you will also not be able to make ongoing contributions. Once you leave an employer, those salary deferrals that went into your 401k will stop with your paycheck. So you can't add any money to those accounts. So they may be somewhat stagnant outside of the natural growth from being invested. Uh, you will also tend to have in your employer sponsored plan limited investment options. So that makes uh, diversifying to get the optimal portfolio a little more difficult. Usually those employer sponsored plans will give you funds like a target date fund where they estimate the date you're going to retire, reach age 60, 65, and they'll put you in a target date portfolio. There outside of that, there may be nine or 10 other options, but they're really limited as to what they offer. So uh, doing nothing, you have some limitations, but you also have a couple pros if the plan has some extra bells and whistles for you. Now, if you decide to withdraw the money, you may find the pro of having money in your hand immediately to be great. And I guess I can't sneeze at getting money right now to do what you see fit with. But there are some cons to this. Number one, you will have to claim any income you withdraw from your retirement plan as ordinary income in the year that you withdraw it, 
what that means for you is that you will pay taxes on those dollars. So let's go to our old favorite example. You make $100,000 a year and uh, you've saved another $100,000 in your 401k plan. Let's say you decide to leave your employer and uh, you've made up to 85,000 in the year you leave. Well, you take that $100,000 out of your retirement plan. You now have to add that $100,000 to the 85,000 you made through that year. And then that means you must claim $185,000 in income in that year for tax purposes. That can put you in a different tax bracket. You can have a bigger tax hit and you won't even get to enjoy all of the money that you withdrew. So paying taxes is a consequence to taking money out of your retirement plan. Also, if you are under age 59 and a half, you may have to pay a penalty tax in addition to your ordinary income tax. That penalty tax is typically a 10% early withdrawal penalty. Now, you also forfeit the opportunity to keep growing your money. Once the money is outside of the investment program, it's no longer invested, so it won't grow any longer. Now, let's talk about the other option, and that is rolling your assets over to another account. Now, one of the cons to taking it out of an employer plan where it started is that you will lose any benefits that are specifically tied to that employer plan. For instance, many 401k plans offer a loan privilege. If you roll those assets to an IRA account, you will forfeit that loan privilege. Also, some 401k plans are overlaid with insurance products such as annuities, and they may have like a fixed interest benefit that pays you a guaranteed interest rate and is not tied to any market performance. If you move the money out of your employer plan, you may lose this. However, that's not that big of a deal in this day and age because interest rates are so low. Losing a 1% or 2% guaranteed interest rate is really water off a duck's back in this day and age. Now, let's talk about some of the pros. By rolling your assets to an account you designate, you gain more control. You get to customize an investment account to be better suited to hitting your goals and meeting your investment needs. You also, unlike withdrawing the money, you will avoid paying penalties or taxes uh, on any assets you roll directly to a new retirement account. You also, and this is probably the, the best benefit, you get to choose from literally thousands, maybe even tens of thousands of different investing vehicles. You can really customize your uh, rollover account to be what you need it to be to help you uh, hit your goals. You can buy into less expensive investments than your employer may have made available so you can reduce your investing costs. It's really a way to customize things to uh, get you uh, on the right path to, again, hitting your goals and uh, being able to uh, become wealthy uh, in retirement. Now, you may have heard me repeat the word goals three to five times on the last slide. And I did so because anytime we're talking investing, the focus should always be your goals. Now, I'm not here to tell you whether you should withdraw the money, leave it where it is or roll it over. But what I am going to tell you is that to look at your goals, assess what your needs are, um, what strategies will best suit your needs, and do that to help you decide what you should do with that old 401k. If you're uh, retiring and that's why you left your employer, well, you may want to start withdrawing some money. It may be time to get out of that accumulation phase and into that withdrawal phase. If you're still uh, someone who's going to be working, for a number of years, you're not yet 59 and a half, haven't reached retirement age. Well, withdrawal may be something that's off the table because you want to avoid the penalties that come with withdrawing the money earlier. You may be better served since you want to still accumulate more assets uh, with rolling those assets over to an individual retirement account or a new employer plan where you could continue to add and grow those assets. So there's a number of options out there for you. Again, make sure you keep your goals front of mind and come up with a plan to hit your goals. That way you'll know what to do once you leave an employer and set up a 401k with a new employer, an IRA on your own, or whether it's in your best interest to leave things as they are. Now, if you found any of this information to be beneficial and helpful, 
please do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe to Mr. Darson's channel. Please look in the description below for a link to a course that will help you become a money master and learn investing from A to Z. Thank you for your time today. Keep watching and become a money master.